Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. With dozens of observers keeping a close eye on questionable ballots, a hand recount ordered by the Secretary of State Thursday pressed forward across the state. Win Grant, not on the ballot. Elections officials are only looking at ballots rejected for under or over voting. The staff are operating under a set of rules for determining voter intent outlined by the state. That gives clear guidelines for our canvassing boards and in this instance essentially for our counting teams and really for anybody that might lodge an objection as to what we intend to rule in certain ways. Senator Bill Nelson unsuccessfully tried to have a federal judge strike down the state's rules. The laws are there for a reason, and we as voters and as partisans and as observers don't get to pick and choose which election laws we'd like to see followed. While Democrats' path to victory is narrowing, they're pinning their hopes on the manual recount where tens of thousands of ballots in large counties are getting a second look. But as Broward County finished the hand recount in the U.S. Senate race, it appears an estimated 30,000 undervotes in the Senate race were likely caused by a flawed ballot design, not machine error. People just didn't see the race on the ballot and just didn't vote. And sort of absent that, uh, it's really hard to see a path forward for Nelson to win this thing. The hand recount must be reported by noon Sunday. The Elections Canvassing Commission will meet Tuesday to certify the results. After that, candidates will have 10 days to file a contest to the outcome. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.